Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. A very common question we get is, well, you offer XL tool holders, but what if I want to actually stack up my own assembly? What kind of TIR can I expect when I do that compared to the XL holders? So in today's video, let's take a few moments Let's assemble a total stack up and let's see where our TIR falls in. We've now moved over to our power grip machine and we have all the tools that we had on the table. Now we've already gone through the entire cleaning process on these tools. If you have any questions at all about how to properly clean your power grip assemblies, check down below for some links to other videos that show you how to properly clean the tools. Now, Let's go through what the assembly process is going to look like. Now, we do have two different PG series. We have PG25 for our base tool holder and a PG10 for the extension. So for this demo, we're going to as assemble the extension into the PG25 holder first. Then we're going to do a die change and then we're going to put in the quarter inch PG15 cowl. So let's show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and open up our power grip machine. Let's Take our Cat 40 holder, in this case our 20 millimeter collet, our 20 millimeter, 120 millimeter length PG10 extension. Put these together. Go ahead and put these into the machine and press this portion of the assembly together. This is going to take about 7 to 10 seconds to press it in. We are now ready to go ahead and get ready to put in our PG-10. So we're going to set this portion of the assembly off to the side here. And let's go ahead and remove our PG-25 insert. Now in previous videos, we've talked about the best way to do that is in the out position because it's safer to pull that out and easier to assemble the next insert. So we're going to go ahead and close the door, lower the press to its bottom position. Then we're going to do that insert change real quick here for you. So open the door, we're going to grab our PG25 insert and remove that. Set that aside. We're going to grab our PG10 insert, put that back into place, and then put the machine back in the press in position. Now, while that's in the process of moving, I'm going to go ahead and take my extension and holder assembly. I'm going to go ahead and slide in my PG-10 collet with quarter inch uh, ground uh, plug in this. This is not a, a TIR plug, it's just a ground carbide rod. Uh, so it's not going to give us probably the best TIR, but it'll give us a good idea of what we should expect. Go ahead and put this now into my PGU, close the door, and press the press in button. Again, it takes a few moments. Now I am going to hold on to the bottom of the holder when I open this. You know, uh, the PG-10 doesn't have a lot of area to hold on to the overall assembly, this big hanging down below. So having your hand on that's a really good idea during the assembly or disassembly process. So this is now fully assembled. So let's go over to the TIR device and see what we get with this. So we went ahead and we put our tool holder assembly into the TIR device and we've arranged the indicator uh, accordingly and we are running right about three times D, so a quarter inch tool and we're going to be measuring this at about three quarters inch from the face of the collet. Um, we have our indicator here in microns. I'm going to go ahead and give the tool a, a good spin to make sure that it's seated in the TAR device and then we'll zero everything out when we find a high spot here. Actually looks like it's not reading too bad already. Uh, we are going right up to about seven microns and that is actually a really really good value considering that we say an XL holder is 10 microns. So in this case our assembled tooling here is running better than what we claim for an XL. Um, and we could definitely probably even do better than that if we used a, a ground 
precision rod versus just a, a carbide blank. So really, really happy with this. Um, this did not take a whole lot of effort, just a little bit of cleaning and a little bit of time in the assembly process. And these are the type of results you should be able to expect on a repeated basis. So very easy to get good TIR out of the power grip system. I am gonna go ahead and preface, we are gonna do this exact same thing with an ER assembly coming up in one of the next videos so you can see what happens when you assemble ER stack ups together. One big thing to remember or to look for when you have your RegoFix catalog out, you can look at all the different offerings we have for cylindrical extensions for our power grip system allow you to have short reaches or long reaches, PG-6 all the way up through PG-25. This was just a limited example with a PG-25 base and a PG-10 extension. There are a wide variety of applications and stack ups you can do, but you can see the type of TIR you should be able to expect with your assemblies. If you have any questions at all about which assemblies can go together or would like us to provide you with technical drawings, please reach out to your RegoFix technical team. We are here to help.